Hey guys, good to have you back and the topic for today is pretty simple. I wanted to talk about the benefits, the downsides and potential problems which you may and will get whenever if you choose to host something online, like on some online provided platforms and, and cloud services that are basically hosted and developed by some other company to which you just pay the money and you get a service. As example, this, the most simplest example is the virtual machines. Like if you want to have the virtual machine available online, you can pay in DigitalOcean or AWS or Azure or many other services and that's it. You get the virtual machine. The second option is, of course, that you can self host it. And that's also like there are many different options how you can do that. And not necessarily you need to have like a big rack of the servers laying at your home, making a lot of noise and, and draining a lot of electricity just to host one single virtual machine. You could do the same thing as I am doing, like whenever I need to do something like for the sake of the video or whatever, I just uh, turn on the Oracle virtual box on my personal desktop computer, turn on the virtual machine, do the stuff, turn it off, forget it until again, I need to do that. So the choice one versus another and straightforward, like there are no perfect solution. Cloud is not perfect. On-prem is not perfect as well. But I believe you just depending on your need, whatever you want to host, you need to pick which will be the best for this use case. And we can cherry pick different scenarios. Let's say if you decided to host some service that will be available, not only for you and uh, not for the limited time period, maybe it's 24 seven that you want to host uh, for your family or just a group of the friends, or maybe you decided to start some side hustle and uh, publish, I don't know, Minecraft server or whatever else. So for the people, then if you want to host it on prem, of course, you can do that, but it will cost you quite a lot. If you want to achieve like the good uptime of the service and the quality and the stability and whatever, because that will not be able to run on the single virtual machine itself, you will also need to think about like, okay, I have it up and running on my computer, but most likely you have a dynamic IP address and that will raise the question like, how can you actually um, make it public, right? How can people access your virtual machine or service that is located in within your network? However, at the same time, you can choose, choose just one virtual machine in the, let's say, droplet pricing uh, here in the digital ocean. As you can see, the pricing is, to be honest, nowadays, it's pretty cheap. Like if you want to have a, a pretty small virtual machine of two gigabytes of the memory and two virtual CPU cores, uh, it will cost you around $18 per month, $20, which is nothing. Consider that if you have some server at your home spinning, 24 seven for the whole month, how much will it take in the electricity plus let's say some maintenance fees and I'm not even talking about like high availability and uh, anything else that will be required to keep your service up and running. But on the digital ocean as example, where let's say if we do, uh, if you want to use the AWS, it basically for the same $20 a month, it also guarantees you to provide the SLA, which at least on the AWS EC2, as far as I remember, was 95%. Uh, so 95% of the month, or maybe even more, it was 99.5 or something like that. Um, I will put it somewhere on the list. So AWS guarantees that the service, the EC2 will be up and running for the most time of the whole month. So your service will all the time be available. So in this case, it is definitely easier and better to just host it online, host it in the cloud. And uh, that's it. Don't worry about anything else. But obviously, you also need to think about long term, like today, the prices are like that, right? If we're talking about EC2, it's $20 a month at your home for just a single virtual machine, you basically don't need to pay anything. If you want to uh, publish some sort of services, well, it will cost something. But what will happen after five years after 10 years, and essentially, like, Okay, it might not be the case with just a simple virtual machine. But what if you're really developing some sort of the service for your 
users, customers, friends, brothers, sisters, and whatever, and you have some sort of information, whenever you publish everything in the cloud, you are sort of relying that this vendor will stay here, this vendor will be careful with all of your data and all of your services, and this vendor will not change usage policies, pricing, or some other rules after a year, because that could happen. And if you look a lot of the news in the internet, it happens pretty frequently. So that let's say, uh, no matter what service, uh, again, not limited to the virtual machines, but maybe you decide to use the cloud platform, and you're super, super happy for a year, then for a two, then for a three, and then it's time to renew your pricing or, or license or whatever. And the vendor will say like, hey, by the way, now this service is going to cost two times more. And that's a huge problem. Because after you've been using like this cloud provider for any service you might have for four years, it's 100% that all of your systems, all of your features and procedures will be so deeply inside this cloud infrastructure, that it's definitely not an easy like unplug, I don't want to use you anymore and move somewhere else or just self host it yourself. However, if you are self hosting right from the beginning, yes, it causes additional problems, additional trouble and responsibility on your side, but you are fully owner and manager of all the services that you have, you decide when you upgrade, what you upgrade, you decide about all the configuration, you decide about the hardware that you run, your roadmap of everything, you're the boss, right? It's, I don't know, it, it can turn out in different ways, the pricing wise, but you can be more or less secure about what will happen after five years. And this is the change. And, uh, those are multiple things that you need to consider whenever you're choosing between something hosted in the clouds and something hosted locally. So in general, it's like, uh, on the one hand, you have ease of use, like you don't need to maintain anything, you don't need to worry about all the stuff, you just pay the money and get the service. In the other hand, you have like risking because you really need to make sure that the vendor which you are choosing is reliable is not going to scam you after a couple of the years. And in general, you will have a good cooperation together for the bright future. And uh, that's it. That's it for this single video. It was probably a quick one. But those are just my considerations about uh, self hosting versus putting something in the clouds. Thank you for watching. Leave your feedback. How do you think? What is your preference? Like, do you rather put things in the clouds or self host them? At your home, maybe you have a small data center or just rented some some rack with a servers or anything else. Let me know and we'll see you later.